All right, here we are for Coptic binding. We need scissors or some kind of snip, waxed linen or cotton thread. The waxiness helps give it extra strength and keeps it from fraying, giving longer life to your book. You need a needle. This is a curved needle. You can also do this with a straight needle. I prefer them curved because it helps with getting uh, through the cover. And of course you need your book and a couple of rubber bands. So here we are stitching together our two covers and seven signatures for our Coptic bound paste paper sketchbooks or journal. The formula for finding how much thread you need for your book is this. Half the number of signatures that you have. We have seven, so that's three and a half. We're going to round up to four. So four signatures plus one cover. So that's five. We want five lengths of the book. Always with a little bit extra at each end, about an inch. So you measure five lengths like this. One, two, three, four, five. My students, I have pre-measured a length for you and all you need to do is make your piece of string the same length and go from there. The next step is to thread the needle. If just freehand threading isn't working for you, you can flatten down the end so that it is more flat than round using your fingers or your fingernail you can also use the needle, anything you've got around to flatten out that end. Then thread your needle. So we want to pull the needle through. We are sewing this with a single thread, not a double thread. But Folding it over just helps to keep some of the thread out of the way. And as we need it later, you undo or rather release the double thread. And you wanna start with at least, I'd say a foot and a half, single thread at the end. Set that aside. Now to get set up. The way that I do this is right in front of me, I stack the book and I keep it always in the order in which I want it. Front cover, all of the signatures in order, back cover at the end to be stitched on last. Remove your rubber bands. Now the first thing you need to do is lift your front cover and your first signature. Make sure your holes are punched through the front cover. All of the signatures have their book binding holes already. We did that last time. And from here, you're going to open to the center, like the middle fold of the first signature. Then you're going to put your rubber band around here so that it holds things together while you sew. Okay, we want to line up the edges. These should be flush with each other. Great. So now while you're working, you need to be comfortable going from 
the outside of the signature to the inside and back and forth, depending on which way is more convenient in the moment. Okay, so I start with the spine of my book facing away from me. Some book binders do the opposite and have it face toward them. I'm gonna take my needle. And here we go. We start with the first hole all the way to the right inside of the book, inside the fold on the first signature. We go through to the outside of the book. And then we're going to pull through all of that excess thread until we're right near the end. And stop. You wanna leave a tail of about two to three inches. That is so you can tie a knot inside of there that has already gone around the book cover um, and it will keep everything nice and snug. So leave that. Close the signature, but don't lose the tail. and you want to go, this is how we sew the cover on. You go around through the front and into the inside of the book. So you're going from outside the book, inside the book, and then you pull that all the way through. When it is snug like that. Do not pull more than snug because you'll pull your tail right out. Just pull until the loop here is snug. And then the next step is to go back in through that same hole where the thread had exited last. So we're gonna open the signature up, get a look at what's going on. I like to pull these to the side so that when I'm putting my needle back through, I don't go through the thread. That's a common problem. I'm gonna try to avoid it. You see what I'm doing there? I'm pulling these with one finger, but essentially we're just going back through to the inside of the book. There we go. So it's start inside, the needle goes through and to the outside of the book. You go around the cover from the outside, pull it through, then back in. Now we pause and tie a knot. It's typically a square knot here. If you don't know a square knot, that it's fine, just do a regular double knot. A square knot is short end on the right, pull snug but not too tight, right over left, I'm just crossing over, tucking under and around like any knot, and then left over right, meaning you're going same one, crossing over, looping under, and pulling tight. All right, now things will get a little bit quicker. So for each next step, we're going down to the next hole, out, around, and back in. Always pulling snug, snug, but not tight. If you need the signature moved a little bit, move it. Oops. Through from outside the book to inside the book. Pull snug. Open the signature. Try to keep your thread out of the way when doing that. To go back to the inside of the signature. and pull snug. Great. 
Each time I come back to the inside of the signature, I'm going to pull in the direction I'm sewing, never opposite. And watch, you'll see that last stitch tighten up a bit. And proceed. Exit the signature. Pull snug. Outside to inside through the cover. Open the signature and go back to the inside. Pull snug in the direction you're sewing. You do that for all of them, except for the last one. You go around the cover, but you don't go back into the signature. This right here is why I like the curled needle, because you can go through and miss nicking the signature. If it gets stuck, you just wiggle and pull. Tighten in the direction that you're sewing. And the final one, you exit the inside of the signature. Make sure that your edges are aligned. Just double check. They are. Okay, you want this to be nice and lined up here. All the way through the entire book. I'm adjusting the rubber band so that I can get this part to curl out more. Going through from the outside to the inside, as always. Pulling snug. And then stopping. This is where we add the second signature. Good work getting this far. So remove the rubber band. Place your book down. Spine to the left as it will be in the end. Line it up with your second signature. Lift your second signature up with the book. And now that's what we will rubber band. The same as last time, except for inside of the second signature, not the first. Find the center. We're going around the first signature and the cover, and half of the second signature. So that holds everything together while we work. Make sure everything is lined up. signature cover and signatures are not quite lined up so I'm just 
taking the time to make sure that that is just how I want it. And there we go, small adjustments make a big difference. Okay, and now we're proceeding into the second signature. So this came out of the first signature, around the cover, and now we're proceeding to continue our stitching into the second signature. I can't really find the hole in that, so a little pro tip is to go to the inside just to poke a hole. Nicely done there. There, now I can see it. So I didn't actually stitch anything. I just used the needle to pierce that hole a little bit better. Might as well do the others while I'm here. Okay. And now into the second signature. Pull snug. Check that what we're doing looks good. Looks good to me. And then proceed down the fold. And now this is where things will get a little bit different, but then remain the same all the way until the second to last signature is stitched in. So through from the inside to the outside. Pull snug in the direction that you're sewing. Now I'm sewing toward the right. And here is where the chain stitch starts. We're going to go underneath this stitch like this. Okay, sometimes it helps to even open the book a little bit, which is fine. See, I'm kind of going in the side just to show what I'm doing really well. I am catching the threads between the cover and the first signature Coming back out. Okay, and there is our very first chain for the chain stitch look that will be the Coptic binding on each of the strings when our book is finished. I'm finding right in this moment that, I'll give you a look here, you can see my signatures are eking their way in. I want them to be flush with the edge here. So what I do is just kind of grab everything, and wiggle it to the edge. There. And then similar to before, we're going back into the same signature hole that we came out of. Take care not to stab yourself in the thumb. And here we want to, as always, pull snug, but not tight. You don't want to be ripping things apart and you want to leave a little bit, just enough like flexibility and um, amount of thread so that when the next one gets put on and you have to go underneath, you have the ability to do that. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next signature hole. underneath the stitch between the first signature and the cover. To create our next chain stitch and then back into the same signature hole. Once you get a rhythm going with this, the rest of the book will come along easily and you'll be able to sort of predict what's coming next. A little snug. Down 
down to the next. I'm going to do this whole video in real time without anything sped up, so feel free to jump around as it behooves you. Underneath again, pull through, chain stitch right there, and we're going back in through the signature hole that we exited from. firmly in the direction we are sewing. If you notice that your um, double thread is starting to get close to where you're sewing, you're just pulling your needle so that it releases more single thread for you. Under and around. Back into the signature. Pull snug in the direction you are sewing. Exit the next one. at the final signature hole. Here we're going to go between the, sign the first signature and the cover, pulling nice and snug, and then leave that like this and add the third signature and adjust the rubber band like last time. Also take a moment to align the edge and make sure it's where it needs to be. There. Pick up with the third signature Open it to the center. This signature cover has crushed mica for shine. All right, so now we're going to line everything up just right. And start by going into that first signature hole. So now you're probably starting to understand how this is going to go. It will be the same until the last two signatures which get sewn on to the back cover at the same time. So make sure you don't sew on your last signature if you start to go ahead. Okay, continuing down. Now 
you're going to go just through the prior two signatures. You do not go all the way back up to the cover. I've seen some people do that before. Mm -hmm. So just make sure that you are not. Make sure that you are going through between signature one and two, not underneath the cover. So you're always going just to the prior signature. See, now we're getting our chain stitch. Okay, we're in the last signature hole of signature three. I'm sure you know what to do. We're going up through the last thread between signature one and two, looping through, and not going back into the signature. Again, I'm going to line this up a little bit. Remove the rubber band, place it on signature four. And rubber band to the center of signature four. And then from the outside, enter signature four. And their spine should look like this. And proceed down the row.
loop through and remember not to go back into the signature. Pull snug. And line your book back up. Lifting up your fifth signature. Again, I'm just fixing the holes from the inside really quick. This is not sewing. This is just lining it up better so I can um, access it when I come back from the outside. All right, continuing. So from outside into signature five. This is why I keep saying pull in the direction you're sewing. So if we're proceeding this way across the book, if I pull this way, it tightens things up. But if I were to pull this way and pull hard, I can tear the string right from this hole to this hole and have a big gaping opening. So the way we're sewing is to the left right now, so we pull to the left if I want to tighten it up. Never back the way we came.
Well, that's definitely not enough thread to finish the rest of the book. So I will cut myself some more and then backtrack a little to tie it on before I get into this final step. So here's what I do for that. Remove the needle. I want to replace, or sorry, not replace. I want the knot to be inside the book where it's not visible from the outside. And preferably, like if I were choosing a place to have it between this short area and this long area, I would choose the long area because it gives me more flexibility for error. I'm gonna go with maybe two more lengths. So if you run out of thread, this is how you add more. You can do a square knot or any kind of knot that will stay. Square knot, again, we're going left over right. So I'm putting the left thread over the right, around and through, and then the same one now on the right right over left, around and through, and pull it nice and tight so that you can proceed. Again, if you don't know a square knot and can't follow that, it's not the end of the world. Just make a knot that will stay and not unravel when you pull on it. Right, and then trim off any excess. Don't trim too close to the knot. You wanna have, like you don't wanna have it unravel if you trim too close. So about like that. Rethread your needle and continue. on the inside, same as ever on the outside. Continue your chain stitch around between the previous two signatures and then pause and regroup. Maybe take a couple minute break before proceeding to add on the last two signatures and the back cover. Sixth signature. Line everything up. Remove the rubber band and replace it in the center of the fine um, of the sixth signature.
here I can see that I sewed through the thread. Can you see that? I've been trying so hard this whole time to prevent it from happening, but it does happen sometimes. And the best thing to do is really try to like find exactly where it went through. So you can go back through the other way. But here where it's happening, like in the hole where I can't really see what's going on, I'm just going to take the needle off and backtrack until I can correct the mistake. And just pull the thread back out. Rethread the needle and continue from there. It's another thing that can be troubleshooted pretty easily. Or troubleshot. Troubleshoot, troubleshot. Okay, so to continue, I'm gonna go back into this hole. Trying not to have that happen again. There we go. Tighten in the direction that you were sewing. Okay, <clears throat> we are ready for the final step. Attaching signature seven and back cover. First, I'm going to push all of my signatures down even with the cover. Okay. And here's how I set up for sewing on the back cover. I switch to using two rubber bands. So first I take signature seven and I put it on just like I have been with all the others opened to the center and attached to the front cover and the rest of the signatures like this. 
And then I do a similar thing with the back cover where I use another rubber band. You can do this without rubber bands if you don't have any. I just like to because it makes it easier to keep things um, where they're supposed to be. If I find myself in a situation where I don't have rubber bands, I use binder clips. Clip, clip, and clip, clip. Always a little bit down from the fold so that I have enough room to like move things around in there if I want. All right, line everything up really nice. That looks good to me. All right, and here's the process. We go first across Signature 7 all the way to the cover. From the outside to the inside of the cover, just like with the front. I'm coming up underneath the thread and then I'm going to cross over it. So this is out on the left of my thread here. So I'm going to enter signature seven on the right of that thread so that it will cross over like this. it up make it perfect or well as close as you can get gentle tugs and then as before down to the next signature hole exit to the outside and then it's up and through the previous two signatures to continue the chain stitch. Then it's from the outside to the inside of the cover. Coming out on the left side of the thread. And crossing over to the right side of the thread to go back into signature seven. Pull in the direction you are sewing. And after each stitch, rearrange and line everything up so that it stays that way while you sew the rest of the book. See how like this here could be a little bit tighter. There we go. To the next signature hole and out. Up to the chain stitch between the last two signatures. Over to the cover, from the outside to the inside, coming up on the left of the thread. Cross over to the right side of the thread and back into the signature. Pull in the direction you're sewing.
trying to decide if I'm gonna run out of thread again. It's gonna be so, so close. I'll probably add a tiny bit more between that last longer run. So I have enough to tie it off at the end. Thread slipped off, so oops, rethread. So coming up on the left of the thread to go in through the right. Next time I would be sure to get a extra thread on there from earlier on so I don't have to keep replacing. I only need a little bit to finish this off. Left over right, right over left, square knot. Last hole. Woohoo, this is exciting. And then finally back in through that last signature. And we're gonna tie the knot on the inside again so that it's not visible. Before I do that, I can get rid of the rubber bands or binder clips or whatever you've got going on. Ooh, that looks so nice. I'm going to give it a little clackety clack to make sure it's all aligned. That looks good to me. And then I'm going into my last signature. And this is how you tie your finishing knot. You go underneath the thread here. I'm gonna do this up closer. So you slide underneath, leaving a loop, and then you're going around and through the loop. Pull firmly. 
toward the outside of the book in this case. And then again, underneath, pull so there's a loop, and come up from underneath the loop. That's that. Trim. Close. And behold. Take a nice deep breath when you have finished. And think about the magic that will happen inside of your sketchbook. If you want to go back to your initial um, knot and trim that, go ahead. And that's it. All done.